Hi, this is Di, and in a shocking turn of events, I'm going to the doctor. It is my first day back to work since the vacation that we took in Bend, Oregon. And while we were in Bend, I got bit by something. I don't know what, but the spots where I was bitten have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. And so I was able to get a 120 at my doctor's office with another one of the doctors who works here. So I'm about to go in and find out what is causing my bug bites to keep growing and growing. It's really disgusting. They're on my hips, so I can't really show you, but maybe I'll insert some pictures here. See, I put my hand in the picture so you have some scale. Yeah, they're huge. This one is like, like a pancake. Anyway, I'm gonna go find out what the doctor says. I am out. The doctor thinks that I have an allergic reaction and cellulitis. I'm already on antibiotics, so that's for that. But now I've got to take a bunch of stuff for the allergy, including prednisone. Yeah, I hate taking steroids. So many side effects, oh my gosh. So she, I think she sent three prescriptions. I'm not sure, I guess I will find out when I go to the pharmacy. In a shocking turn of events, I'm going to get an MRI. I know I just had one, but it was without contrast. And apparently, if I want to see this new doctor, he wants it with contrast. So I'm going in to get a contrast MRI. I think that's why no one has communicated with me. I just got called from the place saying, well, we're ready to schedule your MRI. Oh, that's nice. I called my doctor's office and said, what's this about? And no one ever called me back. So my guess is it's so I can see the new neurosurgeon, but I really don't know. Jerry is driving me. I'm going at lunchtime. They advised me that was when the traffic was best. So I'm going to do a lunchtime MRI because that's what people want to do for lunch, right? Sure, and Jerry doesn't need to sleep. What? You don't need to sleep, right? Yeah, three hours. He had three hours of sleep. Going in. Hi, this is Di, and this is one of those times where I am vlogging because I am nervous. <sighs> I am going to meet a new neurosurgeon today. I have a neurosurgeon at NIH, but I don't have one here in Seattle. So I'm meeting a new neurosurgeon today and he has my MRI that I had uh, with contrast. And he's gonna look at the different brain tumors that I have. I have multiple brain tumors. They're called hemangioblastomas, so they're made of blood vessels. They're not made of cancer or anything aggressive, but they can grow and they can cause problems. And the radiology report looks like that there's been growth of one of them. And we're gonna go see what this doctor thinks. Does he think that I need surgery or does he think that my pain is caused by something else? You know, it's really hard to plan your life if you think you might have brain surgery. Anyway, let's go see what he thinks. We're gonna head down to Seattle. I couldn't record, we're out. What were you gonna say here? We like that guy. I like him too. The, um, the, the, not a clean bill of health, but I'm okay. No, I mean, you're stable. I got stable-ish. Stable-ish, not stable signif no significant growth. Not so that they want a surgery. They it's want a surgery not the tumors causing the headaches, it's something else, so I will follow up with my doctor, Eric, about that. In fact, I think stable enough that he doesn't want to see me again. He wants to send me to somebody else in his office. That's always good. When, the, when that star 
neurosurgeon doesn't want to operate on you because you're not sick enough, that's always a good day. So I do have a doctor there now I can follow up with in a year. So we got back home and I grabbed my computer and my purse and I'm going to go into the office today. I actually have an interview with a newspaper for something at work. And so I need to get back in there and get ready and get in the right mode. But I have the worst stomach ache and I just know it's from stress. It's just plain old stressing, like going to these appointments where I'm finding out like, do I need brain surgery or can I just skate by being in pain? It's like my body gets tired. I just want to nap so bad, but I couldn't get out. This was scheduled Friday and today's Monday, so I couldn't really get out of it. It was last minute. So I'm going to get in there, get ready for my interview. I think it's on Skype. I hope I can Skype on my computer and uh, try to get caught up on some work because the other gal's been covering for me in the office. You know, if you go through medical stuff like I do, you know how stressful it is. Even finding out that no, you don't need surgery, it's like so much adrenaline. My body is just done. And I have a to-do list out to here at home because I was sick all day Saturday and most of Sunday. Um, I have horrible headaches and we still have not addressed that. So yay, I don't need surgery, but boo, I'm still in pain. That has not, we didn't change any of my medications two months ago when I went in on this. So I'll be contacting my doctor and seeing if I can get my medication changed and see if we can find something that'll help because yeah, the whole day in bed with my pain between an eight and a nine out of 10 on Saturday, not good. I did not film. I keep thinking I'm gonna film one of these horrible headaches, but I looked bad, I smelled bad. a shocking turn of events I'm going to the doctor hmm how do I start okay so the illness I have involves my pancreas and there is like one pancreas expert in Seattle she's like the guy that you have to see and so I saw her and she changed clinics that she works out of and they made me start over again have she sent me to have that pancreas endoscopic ultrasound and then they made me enter as a new patient and so I'm starting all over again with her and it has taken 14 months so yeah how are you Jerry I'm awake driving traffic how do you feel I am not. I am super stressed. I am not looking forward to this appointment. I had not fully read the email apparently that came with the travel directions and everything. It says expect two to three hours. They told me I will be seeing the pancreas doctor. She's a gastroenterologist. For some reason it NIH they use an endocrinologist and in, in Seattle they use gastroenterologist anyway for pancreas it's, it's a thing and then um, I will be seeing a social worker as well and a nutritionist a social worker and a nutritionist yeah that's that's what I need Take the Mercer Street exit. And traffic is horrible, but we allowed tons and tons of time, so I think we're fine. For real, I'm in a conference room so I can meet with the doctors. This is weird. <laughs> they welcomed me twice. They don't usually welcome me. We just ate. <laughs> you wanted to know my meds off the top of my head. I was like, give me, let me get you the printout. Uh, so I am out of the pancreas doctor. Uh, she had moved to a different clinic and I had three referrals to see her and I waited 14 months. I finally got in 
and she is obviously way more happy at her new clinic. She came in, she had two people with her, she sat down, she had looked over my medical cheat sheet where I keep a list of what's going on with me medically. She told me how great that that was and how organized I was and I had a really good report on my endoscopic ultrasound, which I knew because the doctor told me when it happened, but that she would be able to just see me back in a year. She wants me to get another endoscopic ultrasound uh, in a year, so I will do that and go back and see her. It went swimmingly. I also saw a nutritionist, which my vitamin D was depleted last time I was seen 14 months ago, and so she had a uh, bunch of blood work run to check to make sure my levels were good and my pancreas doctor ran her blood work so they had to poke me. I drank two full bottles of water. Two full bottles of water and as it was it took two pokes. They got there were six vials they got the first three on the first poke and the second three on the second one. So they got my arm here and they got my hand there. Can you see it? Yep. I hate getting poked. I mean, I don't mind getting poked with a needle. I just hate that it's so hard now. I wish it was easier. I don't know what happens next. We used a hot pad and everything. Anyway, so that was good news. So I think that means I've worked on everything I'm supposed to work on right now. I just need to find someone who can fix my headaches. Because my headache right now is about a five, which is no good. I cannot be functioning with a five headache. It's been, I just figured out the date. I got sick on July 17th, and I am still suffering from these headaches. My neurologist, who's been my doctor for 15 years, had a great idea with a new medication it's by monthly injection, but it's self-injected, and it takes two or three months to get the medication. And quite frankly, I can't function at my pain being between a three and a five all the time and a 10 on bad days for another two or three months while I wait for that medicine. So I'm thinking of going back to pain management. My pain management doctor retired. These doctors, they're a moving target. So I'll have to find a new pain management doctor and he'll have to figure something out because I don't like going through life like this. I have a lot of things planned and this is just unpleasant. And I have been the, uh, been on the unpleasant end of a lot of stuff lately. So I'm ready to feel better. So pray for me, pray for me that I get a doctor can figure out this head thing and not in two or three months. I just don't think I can wait that long. You wouldn't, right? If you could do something about it, wouldn't you keep trying to find a doctor that could help you? Anyway, um, and yes, I have been prayed over lots and lots of times. It's hard with genetic conditions. I have a genetic condition, so it's literally in my DNA. Prayer can make it advance a lot slower. It can make a lot of things more tolerable and it can really bring my life joy but God has not chosen to heal me completely through prayer and probably won't so I've got to do what I can do it is beautiful that's why I pulled over here to talk to you you have to see the view probably our last clear sunny day Look at Hat Island out there. Somebody's been landing a drone or a helicopter or something in this park. Look at that big X. So I think we'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. God bless.